Hello and welcome. I'm Masood Raja and this brief conversation is within my series on Heart of Darkness, especially the parts that cover certain affiliated information which may not bear directly on the novel but which is good to know. So today I'll briefly talk about the Casement Report which came out in 1904, obviously after the novel was published. But the report was written by Roger Casement, who was then a diplomat in the area, in the Congo, and was commissioned to write a report of atrocities being committed in Congo. He did his research and wrote his report, uh, which was discussed in the British Parliament and actually the casement report was instrumental in pushing the powers that had come together after the Berlin Conference that I previously talked about after the scramble for Africa to force King Leopold II to leave his hold on Congo Free State and Congo Free State was then annexed by the Belgian Parliament. Now, Casement and Conrad had met both in Congo when Conrad had gone there to captain uh, a steamship, right? And they both had these idealized views about colonialism and the progress, but it's in Congo when they see the atrocities being committed that their views alter and that's when Conrad comes back and publishes his novella in 1899 and Casement himself then writes the Casement report. Surprisingly the report wasn't made public until the 1950s but it did have an impact. It was discussed in the British Parliament and it did have an impact in changing at least the administration of Congo and that's part of the recorded history. Now Casement himself is an interesting character because he was also an Irish nationalist. He is also known to have uh, been in touch with the Germans and through them with, with the Indian nationalists before the First World War. So a very active political figure but also an Irish nationalist. And he was supposed to take part in the 1916, September 16, Easter uprising but was arrested on the beach as he landed and was eventually executed as a uh, traitor to the British Empire, of course, uh, which is kind of sad and tragic. And even before that, he had been knighted. He was Sir Roger Casement. But eventually, the Irish government insisted that his body should be moved from the prison where he was executed and buried to Ireland. And then he was given a full honorable burial in the cemetery that houses all the Irish heroes and he is considered an Irish national hero. So that's Casement's story but overall his report of atrocities in Congo was compiled and reported to the British Parliament, was discussed in the British Parliament and actually when when the king of Belgium, Leopold II, when a commission was ordered to inquire about what was happening in Congo under his direct rule, the commission actually confirmed all the findings of the casement report. That's how significant the casement report was and it eventually led to the king abdicating his control over the Congo and Congo being annexed by the Belgian parliament. So that's something good to know about the novel and to know that Conrad and Casement had met and had liked each other. So that might have had an impact on Conrad writing Heart of Darkness. And I thought, you know, it will be interesting to know this additional detail to keep in your mind while you read the novel. Hope it's helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will be coming back with more uh, of these snippets of information about Heart of Darkness, all pretty much from a post-colonial point of view. So wait a few seconds and the playlist will show up on the screen. Please click on it and watch more of the videos on Heart of Darkness. Thank you and as always, peace and love.